Hi everyone, welcome back to the Otter's Pocket. Here we are, out at sea, ready to collect our next haul. We can see we're coming up to the... Um, I'm stuck on my own chair. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're coming up to the uh, the next point, so let's just uh, hop on here and uh, drive the uh, ship forward until we can get the uh, into position to collect the next uh, long line. Oh, we've got to remember this ship has got a full up engine upgrade now. Not much black smoke pouring... Oh, no, uh, I tell a lie. Still a lot of black smoke pouring out of the back. Um, there, I can see the uh, the two boys over here. So I'll pick these up quickly. Uh, and we can see how we're doing. So this, this has been in there for one day. So almost 25 hours. This one has been in there 22 hours. And 14 hours. And where do we put the other one? Over here. Only 12 hours for that one. So plenty of time. By the time we get these two... Uh, older lines in and back to port all gutted and sold back out to uh, sea they should be ready to harvest so that's going pretty good right we'll probably do a couple more of these uh, long lines uh, and then what I'll probably do is continue to uh, grind um, these long lines until we're in a position where our reputation is such that we can um, borrow some more money and get a larger vessel and I think that's, you know, because, you know, you don't see me doing long line after long line after long line because, you know, you you know what long line fishing is all about. It's about, you know, my excellent boop, perfection when it comes to uh, fish spiking. I am fish spiker general supreme. No doubt about it. Boop. Oh, I'm back on my perfect run, boys and girls. Back on my perfect run. Boop. Oh. Spoke too soon. But don't worry, I'm pretty confident I'm going to get it back any... No, okay. Come on, Taff. Focus. Boop. Oh, we're back. There we go. 48. Well, oh, that's not very good. That wasn't a very good haul, really, was it? Uh, yeah, let's... Come on. Right. Tea mug. I put my tea mug back in the wrong position. My goodness, I always do this. Right, start. Ready? Ah! Uh. Mm, okay, Un oh, ungutted. We threw a lot of fish away then. That was a waste. Oh my god, that was impossible. Ungutted, 108. Gutted. See, I don't understand how... Mm. Yes, better. Okay, go slower. Um... I've realised I don't have to hold the mouse button down as well. I don't know why I was doing that. It's probably not helping me at all. Um, but there we go. Right, so we've got some fish on board for that one. Let's ho head down to here. And go and pick this one up. Uh, fuel is all okay. We're all groovy. All right, let's... Um, where are they? I see them over here. This mist seems to be clearing up kinda in stages. That was a bad haul, wasn't it? That was... Oh, maybe it wasn't too bad, actually, because two lines normally fill half the boat, so... No, we're probably on... Uh... We're probably on schedule. That's probably okay. Coming up to the evening now. Uh, so, although we we have started to improve our reputation in uh, this port here, Hyperfjord, we are going to go back to Hammerfest to uh, really... Um, try and improve our, our lot and reputation there because that's that's the big town down here. That's the big port with all the uh, the gubbins, the, the you know the pub, the bank, the uh, garage, and the up, upgrade shipyard, that kind of thing. So that's that's where we really need to be um, top dog. There we go. Let's haul in the line here and ready for spiking. Boop. Oh yes. Oh, not so good. So yeah, I can't wait till we get some net fishing going. Give that a go and then do some trawling. And get bigger and better boats. Oh, far too early. Far too premature, Taff. You strike, do you strike premature? That's a problem for all of us at times. Oh, lovely. Six of six. See, that wasn't only six fish in there. That's a, these are not the hauls I was hoping for. Right, let's give this a go then. Oh, look at those magnets. 
Well, that's not too bad. Oh, five star. Not too bad at all, in fact. Uh, three, it's not too bad. That was okay. Yeah, that was okay. Good. Right, so... Uh, Disappoint... Oh, the mist is cleared. Finally! We've got a beautiful evening. Right, let's have a quick look then. So, we've got half a boatload of uh, fish. How are we doing with... That's uh, 16... We can go and pick that one up, actually. Let's sail over to there. And by the time we get over there... Seven, 18 hours. You know, 20 hours is the optimum, but 18 hours... Whoa, it's all got a bit weird. Oh, look, there's another boat out here. That's awesome. First boat I've seen out on the water as well. Uh, let's hope he's not trying to steal my lines. We don't want to have a little bit of fisty cuffs on the water. Right, so the line... Oh, here he is, there. So we've got to get that one. How's the other one? Oh, I don't have to go into there, actually. I've got the, uh, the rod... That's, that's, hmm. We might pick it up. The one thing I don't want to do is run out of capacity and have to throw fish back. Because that would be uh, that would be good. Oh, pay attention to what you're doing, Taff. Pay attention to what you're doing. That I'll have to go round them because I've uh, I kind of wasn't paying attention. I was too busy faffing and watching other things. Uh, so we'll spin round here. We have to be quite a tight turn. This Should put some lights on. My rudder's not working. We seem to have stopped turning. There we go. Yeah, she's uh, she's not the most manoeuvrable boat in the world, but I should imagine she's probably one of the better of the fleet that you can buy. So what's the time? It's uh, not coming up to nine o'clock, so it's a, it's a sunset. Yeah, we've got another fisherman out here fishing away. I assume that's a boat. It looks like a boat. Could be an iceberg. <laughs> iceberg dead ahead, Captain. Let's haul that in. Right. Nice. Just noticed I've got brown shoes on. I thought I'd have boots on, but... You know, like welly boots, but no. Brown shoes. You're not going to be able to see the shoes now. Because the camera's not going to go down there, but... Something I noticed just a second ago. It's not a big, big deal. It's just, you know... Strange what you notice sometimes. Oh my goodness. This, this We've really... I think we've started to overfish this point, And that's why we're getting poor... Um, Results now. Oh, that doesn't help. One more. Nice. Good one. Good one to end. It's always nice to end on a high. That's a bit. 91 Pollock. That's a bit better. Yep, come on. Let's get our gut going. Yeah, slow is better, actually. Slow is better. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. That's hard. We just about got away with it. Yes. Yes. Good ending to that. Good ending. Happy days. Right. How's the old boat? Uh, we're pretty much full to capacity, so that one's going to have to wait it out but that's fine because it's, it's near um, to port anyway so we can quickly hop back see that's coming up to 20 hours now by the time we offload these and go back to pick it up that should be awesome right it's raining it's pouring the otter's pocket is soaring into harbour ready to sell this fresh lot of fish look they're coming in Almost, you know, 20 to 1 in the morning, 25 to 1 in the morning. This is going to be straight out onto the fish markets in the morning, sold on the shops. Oh, wonderful. Perfect timing. Oh, that is bright. 
not sure what good it is doing out there. Bit of thunder and lightning. Oh, look at that. We've got a little bit of northern lights going on here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Obviously, we're up north in the Barents Sea. So, yeah, you would see that, probably. Although I've been in the Barents Sea. But, you know, that, that's, that is, you know, Scandinavia. It's far north, so... Uh, yes, please. Let's dock. Um, so 90, 195 Pollock, 150, sorry, 149 Haddock, and 25 Redfish. Brings in 56,000. Nice. We've still got another um, still got another one out. We're a fancy fisher. Would you, would you look at that? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. They're reeling us in now. It doesn't like it's going to be particularly good for our boat. Uh, so we've got Thunder and Lightning. Oh, Wintry conditions, well, 8% chance, 1 meter per second wind, cloud cover is uh, 3 Okatas, I have no idea, and um, visibility is um, 8.1 kilometers. More fog on the way. Happy day. Oh, it's not till the end of the week we get some decent weather. Goodness me. Right, so the fish market. We know we've done okay at the fish market. Um, yeah, here we go, look. We've increased a fancy fisher, and all of a sudden we can borrow 320,000. Nice. Nice. Uh, so if we do a few more runs, we should be able to save up or borrow enough to uh, buy, where is it, in the boatyard? 450, wasn't it, for the next ship up? Um, how, oh, this is only worth 10,000. Can we sell this? I guess you can't. Is there a way we can sell this to make a bit more money? I I, I don't see anything jumping out at me as uh, an obvious thing. But yeah, can you imagine getting this little bow? Oh, I can't wait till we get the Lunar Bow. That is just an amazing ship. Look at that. And the Hermes. Ho ho! The Hermes looks like a, you know, a ship you'd use to go wreck finding, wouldn't it? It's got like a... Uh, remote controlled submersible on the back or something that's amazing this thing just looks weird so it looks like you bought half a ship you've only bought the front half of it seems a bit weird anyway uh so we are saving up for 450 but we can get the loan out can't we well i reckon if we improve our relationship a little bit more with the bank we'll be able to borrow um a little bit more very soon um yeah they're, they're still sort of heaving my ship to the dock uh, which is a bit weird um, okay, so we've got the searchlights, we don't need to worry about that. Storage might be an upgrade, but that's um, 42,000. I think what we, I think we've upgraded her, the, the otter's pocket, as well as we need to at this time. Um, so, um, I want to buy some fuel. We'll get that 1% hull repair fixed. We'll go to the fish market, and I'm going to bait some more lines. Uh, do we, should we go for some redfish? Because we're really down on our quota of redfish, and they're quite, they're quite, um, they bring in quite a good uh, price, actually. Uh, we don't need cod. Cod, yeah, we'll get some crab, actually. And some mackerel. Lovely. Right, let's head out to sea. Gently as we, gently, gently as you, she goes. Um, so we're going to come out to sea. We're going to pick this one up because that's 21 hours now, and we're probably going to have to set the pots or the the lines over here because we've overfished these. You can see the the high, the lighter colour in the middle is is gone, and you can that's I mean, that's quite a big uh, school of fish up there. Um, so we're probably going to we'll come and pick this one up first, and then we're probably going to set some lines out here, further extremities of the. Uh, the little patch of water. So, look at, look at all this we haven't yet seen. My goodness, there's so much, there's so much map. Blimey. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, let's fast travel out of the harbour up to there. Are we a little bit too close? Oh, I see why. Because we're not out of the uh, the purple zone. So we'll come out of the purple zone and then we'll uh, 
go and pick that up and get these other nets or these other lines dropped. And then what I'll probably do, as I said earlier, I'll probably um, leave the episodes, well, they'll probably come out in uh, reasonably quick succession for you guys, but I'll probably do some grinding off screen to try and get us up to a position where we've got enough fish and stuff to improve our reputation that we can borrow enough money to um, get one of the, the next ship up. And then we'll go again. How does that sound? Sound like a plan? Good. Good, I'm glad. Right, we can fast travel now. Excellent. Right, where are they? Searchlight on. Doesn't help at all because they're directly in front of us, but... If nothing else, it, you know, it shows everyone else where we are. Is that another ship? That boat's gone there, look. That's pretty cool. That's the first, well, I thought was another boat I've seen. I'm blinded. We got. Uh, looks like we got a flickery bulb in the old uh, cabin here. That's you know that's going to put you on edge, isn't it? There's nothing like nothing worse than those flickery bulbs. Goodness me! Right, I slowed it right down because um, I'm actually going to switch the searchlight off. Oh no, the searchlight off. It's over there. It's actually making it more difficult to see where we needed to go. But yeah, this is uh, episode three now, isn't it? So. I have to say, um, it's still not dull for me. It may may be watching wise because you know, obviously you're not you're just watching. You're not really uh, having to participate in the little mini games and stuff. But still really enjoying this. I've got a feeling there's going to be a little bit of grinding coming up, but that's okay. I'm looking forward to getting the next ship, which will bring us the next type of fishing, which will be net fishing, I think. There we go. Let's uh, haul in this line. See our brown shoes? Yes. Perfect. Good. Uh, boop. Excellent. I have to go. Got to go quiet because I've got to concentrate. Because you know when I start giving it the big all, I end up screwing it up. Well, I'm not doing a particularly great job this time, but we're, we're still we're still doing okay. There we go. Put the pressure on myself, and I, uh, I rise to the challenge. Much better. But if you notice, we're only catching nine. Well, nine fish. It's obviously a. Um, oh, I wasn't prepared for that. I take my hand off the mouse for that. It's. I was going to say it's, it's obviously an indication of how m much quantity it is. There. If you catch nine fish, or if there's twelve fish on the line, you have to do the mini game for. Uh, but still, we're 116 Pollock, 56 Haddock, and 9 Redfish. We're doing okay. Ah! <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I think we're bugged. There we go. Ah! <laughs> That's quite scary. Oh, just a, just a horrible neck. Ah! Ah, so hang on, where's where's my? Did I not get to gut the? F no, no, it's just bugged me. Has it just bugged me out? No, no, it's just bugged me out. I think. Are the fish in storage? Let's just. Yes, but they're they're not gutted. So let's gut the fish. Here we go. Okay, we haven't been cheated. Don't worry, the game just had a bit of a blip, but thankfully we we weren't penalised for having a bit of a blip yeah that wasn't too bad yes it's nice to hear the uh, the knife going through the scales isn't it oh that was hard and we just about got away with it okay good stuff so we've got now a, uh, a good haul of um, 18 100 kilograms of uh, gutted fish. Um, now what we can do is let's plot a piece up of action up there. So that's nice and bright up there. No, cancel, cancel. No oh, bugger. I didn't. I wanted to move the map up there rather than. There you go. Wrong mouse button. <laughs> Damn it. Right. Uh, we'll drop the crab here, I think, and we'll get going. 
drop this line here. And we'll, we'll set these three lines, go back to port, sell our fish, and uh, take stock. So it doesn't appear that we can sell the otter's pocket, which is fine. We'll keep her. It would be great, as I said, if we could hire a crew member to take her out when we're on a next another ship. Uh, so we have a, the makings of a small fleet going. That would be pretty awesome. I don't know if that is a thing in game at the moment. Um, if it is, great. If it isn't, well, maybe the developers can add it in later. It is worth no noting that I'm recording this second and third episode back to back in one block. So um, yeah, if you made a comment on the last one and you said I should try something and do something, you know, give me an up. Uh, a tip to how to do something a little bit better, and I haven't done it. Then you'll know why. It's because um, it's it's I'm uh, I'm playing straight back after the other episode, so I haven't had a chance to uh, um, read any of the comments, obviously, because uh, I'm recording them back to back. All right, I'm just going to drive into the uh, the brown, and hopefully, as we drive in here, that should open it up. I'm guessing. Still hitting almost 10 knots with uh, half a... Uh... Okay, we could be there forever. Um, can we Can we do a... Can we do a waypoint? No, we can't. That Oh, that's unexplored. My goodness. We're coming up to a, the unknown of the sea travel. There might be monsters beyond here. It's marked on the monster, you know, kind of like a... A weird kind of serpent type with a pig's head and a goat's ears and all sorts of crazy stuff. Ooh, the sea is really dark blue here. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, we're slowly getting into it. Anyway, uh, we want to... We might have to do some exploring off camera and we'll just um, get these um, lines set to begin with. Let's drop uh, the shrimp one here. Again, it looks like we threw it just in front of us, which is well done us. Let's just try not to uh, steer over it. There we go. Right, get the 25 meters of this line unraveled. And we're going to set the third and final one. Where should you set the third and final one? Maybe here? And maybe here again, I think. You can see these are slightly duller. Well, they're not too bad. But well, these are the areas we've fished before, and they've really, um, the fish, you know, the fish aren't stupid. If they, uh, they get scared or they get overfished in an area, they tend to avoid that area for a while, so. I say like I know what I'm talking about. I haven't got a clue, but it makes sense in my mind. I'm sure that's probably a thing. It's logical that fish would have, even though they've got a short memory, they would, you know, react that way. Okay, almost this line is done. Hopefully we get a good throw and we don't throw it back into the, uh, the rear of the boat again. Oh, he tried his best, didn't he? Right, that one's set. Good. Uh, so that one's already been in the water for three hours. Uh, fuel isn't that much, so we're going to set the line there again. Watch that fuel get used up. Yeah, right, let's get this last one set. And then we'll head into port. Job done. Another day's work. Ooh, it gets shallow here. Oh, but there are fish! Which is good, obviously, because we are fishing. Oh, 75 meters now, and there are the fish. Okay, so that one is going to be hoiked. There we go, lovely. Oh, damn it, and there's the two fish there. Just swim along a little bit to where we've put the lines, and um, go and eat the bait we've put down there. Go on, you'll love it. Right, let's head back to port. Watch our fuel carefully. Yeah, less than 25% full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why we're coming back to port. Don't worry. We're all over it. Let's get this fish sold, get back into port, and uh, go down the pub. I think we've deserved it. We've had a 
A good couple of uh, fishing trips now. We've got some good fish in. Upgraded the engine on the boat. She's still chugging and puffing out black smoke like a, a VW, but we will be grand once we get in. She sounds like one of those old canal barges as well, doesn't she? With the old chugger chugging diesel engine. Alright, let's get this. Uh, not just yet. Let me just get um, kind of parallel with the dock side. So you don't slam it in when you haul her in with the uh, the wires. There you go. That's a little bit better. Now let's try that. 116 Pollock, 57 Haddock, 56 Haddock, I beg your pardon, and 9 Redfish. 33,000. That's not bad from one haul. Happy with that. Any events happening? Uh, still the Haddock season. Jobs done those and I've learned to get oh yeah we've done those gear uh, we're doing grand uh, we, so we baited that with krill set time uh, hours age it's five six oh that's only just gone out hasn't it total haul so mackerel seems to be our biggest haul so far Oh no, Cri uh, shrimp did quite well there. And then crab. 2,000 crab. 2,137 for shrimp. 2,135. 156, my goodness. Okay, keep an eye on that. See which one... Obviously it depends on what, you, what you're going for. Um, and we're almost up to our... Oh, you got to drive distance. So 12.3 kilometres... Uh, you need 20 kilometres to upgrade our um, driving licence, or boat licence, should I say. Uh, unlock date is the 15th day, that's when we got this one. Ah, so I might do some ad uh, adventuring while I'm um, out and about, trying to get some... Here they go, looking at the map. When I'm out and about trying to unlock some more of this map, um, I'll come down here and check all this out as well, I think. I'll start burning some fuel up and uh, checking this out and exploring this. That will give us another license, and by that time, look, we've already gone up to a sophisticated um, fisher. So, I'm guessing, our, with our reputation upgrade again, oops, let's go into the bank. 470, yes, we can borrow the money to buy the next boat. Obviously, we don't have the license yet, I don't think. I think we need the other uh, license, don't we? So, if we go here... Um, unlocked. You need to travel another seven. Okay, yes, we do need the um, the next license to get the Sajarkin. Sajarkin. Boat. Um, so that's pretty cool. But oh, yes, now that we've leveled her up, she's coming in nicely into port. Look at that. Lovely. Good. Anything down the pub? Nothing down the pub. Good news. Anyway, so that's good news. We can now borrow the money we need to get the next ship, but we don't have the, uh, the license. I do need to drive another seven kilometers on the sea. Uh, which I'll do offline when I'm grinding a little bit more to get us a bit more cash. We're up to 92,000, so we don't have to borrow the full 450. Uh, but we might have to if we want to maybe hire some crew and get some more um, kit and caboodle and all that kind of jazz as well. Uh, we'll see. But for now, we'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy fishing Barrett's Barrett's Sea. The Barrett's Sea? Bar Bar Barrett's? Who's the Barrett? I don't know. Uh, yes, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, hit that thumbs up and uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and tickling the bell next door to make sure you get all the latest video releases. And from myself, Skipper of the Otter's Pocket, I'll see you next time.